Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute, but lately Disney Store is just kind of releasing stuff all, all over the place. There's been months with no merchandise and then all of a sudden there's so much coming. A whole new designer line, the Hocus Pocus dolls, there's Akira coming. It's just so much. Um, which by the way, make sure that you follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with all of the latest doll news. Because as you know, on my YouTube channel, I review them once I receive them. That means that they were already announced, they came out. You know, my YouTube channel is the final stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just make sure that you follow me on there so you stay up to date and then you know also which videos I have coming up. So uh, as you know, or maybe you don't, they released all three dolls, all three Sanders and sisters, and I'm gonna have three videos. I'm gonna unbox them and all that good stuff. The first one, of course, that you see here is Sarah. Now, I feel like this collection has been in the making for a while. Maybe it was pushed back because of, you know, the world changing, but they have done so much merchandise in this style already, backpacks and just mugs, everything. So I feel like the dolls were part of that and were somehow pushed back because they don't look like the actresses. You know, all of the merchandise for Hocus Pocus looks the same. It's all very caricature, very cartoony. I don't know if it's because they don't have the rights. You know, this film was made so long ago, maybe they didn't have the rights for the actresses' looks. Maybe they don't want to pay the actresses. I have no idea. I don't work for Disney. But they definitely all have this matchy, cartoony look, which a lot of people were not happy about. I personally don't mind it so much because they are 11 inches tall. Okay, these are not 17 inch limited edition live action dolls. These are 11 inch cartoon hybrid classic doll, something, something, right? Very exciting. I have talked so much already in this intro, but let's just get into this review and let's get her out of the box and all that good stuff. Let's go. First up, we're taking a look at her box and it's purple, like her cape. We have the Hocus Pocus logo on the plastic up there and a really nice white border along with the purple and the orange background of the box. It says ages six and up, but of course, you know, it's a collectible. Um, we have a moon in the middle and then on the bottom, we just have her name, which is Sarah, and it's one out of 5,000. So there's 5,000 of each doll, basically. Over here, we have an eye and then we have um, the candle, the black flame candle, which she's holding. Um, one really cool thing about this is that these boxes are pretty much the same thing as the 17 inch doll boxes. It's just a squared version, right? A wider version of it. That's really all it is. Um, in the back of the box, you have a spider right in the center. Then we have a candle, the candle, and the eye. You can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read this. It's in several languages. Really cool. And then um, the actual price tag is not on here, but the retail price is $129.99. So let's go ahead and open it. You see, it's really similar to the limited edition boxes, the 17 inch ones. It's pretty much the same thing. I actually quite like this. It's pretty sturdy. It has a really nice color in person that it shines. I love it. And then we have the certificate right here. You can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read that as well. And now I always like to give you a look at the presentation, right? The way that she looks like in the box, because I will be taking her out. I'll be taking her clothes off and washing her hair even. So it's gonna be, you know, quite a fun, long video. Uh, but I do like to show you the display because I think it's very nicely displayed. I love the orange in the back, very Halloween. Um, with the purple, it's a good contrast. And I love the black cutout border that they gave her. All the dolls have it. Um, she also has a, a lift up there in the stand to make her look taller. She's holding the candle and her mop. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get her right out of the box. Now that she's out, let's first start with the accessories. Uh, we have the black flame candle here, which is painted and sculpted extremely well. It's made out of a rubber-like material. It's kind of like thick. Um, it's not hollow in there, right? It's really solid and it has a little extra piece for the actual black flame. I mean, it looks sensitive that area, so I wouldn't mess with it too much, but it's really nice the way that they painted it. It looks just very realistic. Um, it kind of fits nicely into her hand, but it won't really stay there for long. You have to use a rubber band to keep it together, which, you know, it brings it already in the doll. Um, she also brings her mop, which is made out of plastic. This part here is hollow. 
right? It's sculpted and it looks really realistic to me. Um, it doesn't have to be like real fabric. I mean, in my opinion, it's fine. The actual stick part is made out of rubber, right? Like the rubber um, bendy plastic. Next up, we're taking a closer look at Sarah's face and she looks really cool. Um, this is a whole new face sculpt made for her. And as I said earlier, she doesn't necessarily look accurate or human or realistic, right? To the characters in the movie. Um, it's more of a cartoon version of them, but it's really cool. I love the way that they were able to shape her mouth. Um, I love the colors used here as well. She has the beauty mark. The lips are kind of like a little um, kind of sideways mouth maybe. Uh, and it's like a burgundy color. The eyes are blue. I love the purple eyeshadow as well. And the thick eyebrows. Rooted lashes. You know, she might not... And the beauty mark, of course. She might not necessarily look like Sarah Jessica Parker, but it's there. Right? You can see that it's her. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You tell me what you think. But I definitely see her. I also see Elsa. Like, you know, we're so used to these classic dolls. And they kind of did the same thing here. But, you know, with a human this time. <laughs> so... Now we're moving on to the hair, and as you see, it's a mess. I, It always happens with the blonde dolls for some reason. It looks like they don't have a lot of hair. She doesn't have a lot in the back, but she has a lot of hair in the front. But the gel just makes it look so stiff, and I'm just not happy with this hair. So I'm gonna go behind the scenes <laughs> and do some magic and just wash her hair with shampoo and conditioner, and you'll see the difference that it makes. Here she is with, with the hair washed. I didn't do anything to this. I didn't style it. Um, some people have, I've already seen some people do like little braids or curl it up more accurate to the film. Um, I might do that down the line, uh, but this was quick, you know, to try and get the video to you guys. So uh, in my opinion, it looks way better already with just a hair wash, right? You can play with it much more and make it look as you please, right? Absolutely love her hair now, for sure. It's so, so pretty. Let me know what you think of my quick hair wash in the comments. <laughs> so next up, I just want to give you a quick overlook at the outfit, the way that it looks like on her before I go and remove everything to show you up close, right? A better look. Uh, but as you can see here, if you remember from the movie, in the film, you know, they have raggedy outfits. They're old and torn up and dirty and stuff. And this is more of a, a designer, fancier, prettier version of that, if you will, or more colorful, no? Um, she also has her cape, as you can see, and we'll go ahead and remove that, but it's really easy to put it on. I love that it has the hood included. It's like a textured cape, right? It has this really cool texture to it. And you can just put it on her and style the hair however you like, similar to the film or not. It just looks really, really cute. And it has a plastic clasp, I think you call it, and it's just really easy to take off. And here you can see what she looks like without the cape. Sarah is also wearing a necklace and it's made out of metal. It's actually really nice and pretty accurate to the film. This is just like a shorter, uh, maybe choker version of it compared to the film, which is longer. And I don't see a way to take it off unless you were to remove her head. <laughs> um, it has these little rubber bands kind of keeping that front part in the front. That's why I'm not removing it. So back to the textured purple cape. Um, it's really nice fabric. There's two fabrics here. Um, sewn together I guess that's the word <laughs> and like I said it's a little plastic um, clasp thingy and it's really easy to remove I love the colors it's so nice one of them is more clear actually they're both kind of clear when you look at them but yeah I love that texture to it it's so cool and from what I remember pretty accurate to the film now we're taking a closer look at her bodice and it's really nice. It has a lot of embroidery going on. We have gold embroidery with little flowers in pink, green, and yellow with rhinestones added to it. I also love the gold border on the bottom right there. And the sleeves are really cool. Um, first time I see this in limited edition Disney dolls, I believe. Um, just be very careful with that brown thread that you see. It's not something you can remove. That's pretty much what's keeping it together. Very sensitive. You have to be careful with that. I also love the little bows, there's three there. And when you open it, you can see that it is lined, I believe that's the word, uh, to protect it from staining the doll, I guess. And now we have the skirts, and I'm not an expert on fabrics, uh, but I can tell you that they used a lot of different ones here. We have 
uh, textured uh, purple peplum. It's what it's called on the website. We have her little purse, which is made out of plastic, but it is painted very well and sculpted very well. I didn't even know that it was a purse um, until I rewatched the movie the other day. <laughs> I didn't remember. So yeah, I'm not familiar with fabrics. If you are an expert on that, please feel, feel, feel free to comment. But the fabrics here are definitely very nice. I love the, te the texture on this as well. It's kind of like a lace, right? It's a red lace front skirt over cream under layer. The yellow cream under layer. That's what it says on the website description, but it's really, really beautiful. Now we're gonna be taking a look at her body and articulation. And for those of you wondering, yes, it's the exact same body as the Rapunzel TV series doll, right? It's a smaller scale, you know. Her hands are really nice. I love that she has those painted um, rings on there and they're all silver. Really, really good articulation. And she's actually wearing bloomers. I believe that's what they're called and they're light purple. Really, really nice and a really, really nice surprise, right? She has a purple underwear under that as well. And she has articulation on her knees, which is really good. That means that she can sit really well. And she has there. She has this really cool black stockings, which is the first time that I see the way that they did them, which I love. It has a little like rubber kind of plastic in there that makes it stick to the skin. Well, you know, to the leg, <laughs> to the plastic leg, but it makes it stick so it's not falling off constantly, right? It's really, really cool. I appreciate that so much. It's a nice detail and I hope that continue to do it for stuff like this. Now her shoes are really cool. They have a really nice shape. I believe it's pretty accurate to the movie as well. Of course, they're made out of plastic and they're not necessarily painted, right? They're just kind of like, this is the color that they are. And as you can see, um, she has articulation right on the ankles as well. And it's a little stained from the stockings, but not a big deal. Really, really awesome articulation for this body. Alrighty, everybody. So before we go, I wanted to give you a quick look at the Hocus Pocus dolls next to the designer Esmeralda and Giselle and the classic Alice, just so you can get an idea of size because the designer dolls are always described about 11, 12 inches. And these dolls, the Hocus Pocus dolls are supposed to be about 11 inches. You know, they have smaller bodies and big heads. So it's kind of hard to tell what actual size they are unless you get a ruler. But I hope this gives you a good idea of what they look like in person. So again, thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this doll in the comments and be on the lookout for my other Hocus Pocus dolls for Mary and for Winnie. So keep an eye out for that. I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.